So what about Western dress? The whole world has become Americanized. We see in Nepal, their native dress is very beautiful. They have colorful, uh, rainbow-colored woven caps and shawls, chaders. Uh, and so many cultures around the world, they have beautiful native dress. Uh, but we find that a lot of devotees uh, prefer Western dress, without doubt. And they're habituated to it. So they come home from work in their Western clothing, and they uh, eat dinner. Maybe they shower, maybe they don't. And then they engage in oftentimes some material activity, either just socializing or watching television, but we don't recommend. So uh, a lot of working men don't bother to change when they come home from work. But we respectfully submit this is laziness. Keep your spiritual life alive at home. You come home, shower, change into a dhoti kurta and put on Vaishnav tilak and engage in spiritual activity for the rest of the evening. This is our strong recommendation. The Western culture is not favorable to Krishna consciousness. There are some people, there are a significant number of devotees around the world today who uh, want to uh, say, it doesn't matter, it's external. You know, it doesn't matter. They claim the Prabhupada gave emphasis. Uh, there are what's known as Deshikala Patra consideration, time, place, and circumstance. Srila Prabhupada's main uh, blessing for Western clothing was that if devotees needed to go out to the airport and they told Srila Prabhupada that we get better results in the, our book distribution if we dress in Western clothing, Srila so Prabhupada said, that's all right, then do it. Uh, but there are Deshikala Patra considerations, that's the time, place, and circumstance situation very specifically. So, um, otherwise, uh, just wearing Western clothing as a matter of habit is not favorable. We have to say that when Siddha Prabhupada first came to America in 1966, uh, certainly the young people that he was preaching to, they, weren't a, they didn't know anything about Indian culture. They had no idea, no clue. And uh, so naturally they were wearing Western clothing, but he ordered the newcomers, the new devotees, he ordered them, you learn to dress in this way, Dodi and Kurta, Vaishnav, Tilak. This is proper spiritual dress. So because it was coming, they called him Swamiji in those days, because Swamiji gave the order, they happily complied. They didn't question, they didn't argue. They didn't make up their own westernization of Krishna consciousness movement. Uh, but these things are going on these days. Rebellion. Well, what I, uh, rebellion against whom? It's rebellion against Prabhupada. Uh, because Prabhupada introduced a way of life. It's called Krishna culture. He did not introduce simply philosophy, but certainly he introduced a way of life. That should be understood. And a way of life in, the, in goodness and favorable, not only just the material mode of goodness, but Vishuddha Sattva. Vishuddha Sattva means transcendental goodness. Everything in Krishna Gosh is supposed to be transcendental, above the modes of material nature. Brahma Bhutta Prasanatma, Naso Chiti Nakanchiti, Bhagavad Gita, above the modes of material nature, transcendental. It's supposed to be the Krishna conscious way of life. So the Krishna culture, the Krishna way of dressing as much as possible. We even recommend, I personally recommend to men, I ask them the question, uh, unless their employer is demoniac or unless it's a workplace regulation, some uh, workplaces have very specific dress guidelines and they want their employees dressed strictly in Western clothing and that's the end of it. Otherwise, I, I recommend to many devotees, try wearing 
white pants and a kurta or designer nowadays coming in fashion now designer kurtas with matching pants coming into fashion now they're on the billboards or hoarding boards the pictures are there and you go on the net we we recommend go on the net and see how uh, under uh, men's kurtas see what's coming in now hybrid styles uh, hybrid meaning mixed uh, east and west and you will see that it's coming into fashion and for the ladies uh, long skirts are coming into fashion now and they're special designer quality nice not too simple not folk style but high-end very very beautiful actually so uh, it is part of Krishna culture and uh, our request is stick with Krishna culture Hare Krishna